comfort zones. Does a comfort zone exist? Coaches are aware from a coaching perspective that if a client is not willing to step beyond themselves, they will eventually stop themselves. Is this the purpose of a comfort zone? And if so, how does this serve them? It is always uncomfortable to go beyond what we already know, and this discomfort can vary depending on what our belief system tells us. Sadly, a lot of people stop when things begin to get uncomfortable, and yet this is precisely when they have the opportunity to grow, move forward, and where the real work gets done in terms of personal development. New ideas and beliefs can make us feel uncomfortable, but if we step back and look clearly at things that we have learned about our beliefs and positive self-talk, we can embrace a willingness to travel the path of life. This is a vehicle to travel in and challenges the idea of a comfort zone. Life is to be lived. We can choose to widen our belief system, which impacts on our so-called comfort zone. The secret is to widen our comfort zone, slowly understand it and let it grow with positive evidence to form positive beliefs, positive self-image and high self-esteem. The zone will continue to grow. The larger the comfort zone, the lower susceptibility we have to stress. Everything is possible. Coaching is about preparing to be limitless. Coaching is powerful to help people to achieve their full potential. It is not counseling or therapy. Coaching is results driven. Do you have a good coach supporting you? Or are you looking to be trained as a professional accredited coach?